All right, remember that job uh, where we met the engineer at that house? Um, we had to, uh, girder was twisting up underneath there, had cracked girder. Uh, footings were tipping, basically non existing uh, footings, I should say, and the piers were tipping. Well, we're heading there right there. We already uh, dropped off the wheelbarrow, some uh, 4x6s, 6x6s, different stuff like that. But I just grabbed these um, shims. Of course, this is going to be a few day job, but. Um, these are hardwood oak uh, shims, and that's what you're supposed to be using. Grabbed a couple stacks of them. You can get them from mobile home supply houses, uh, like trailers, um, double wides, whatever. They'll carry those, and that's that's what you should be shimming up there if you're not using steel. Uh, what else? Oh, the, the, the footing. So we'll show you exactly what we have to do as far as mating. Um, our new footing up to the existing perimeter footing as far as dowling some new rebars epoxying them in and and who knows who knows what's going to be up underneath these footings it looks like um, the footings no larger than a cooking like a salad bowl or a popcorn bowl and I think that's all we're going to be seeing but all right see you up in that crawl space All right, so we're carrying this blocking into this crawl space, and this is how we transport them back to most crawl spaces. And then actually to get it down where our location is, we put all of our blocks inside these tubs that we mix our mortar in. All right, so I'm moving these blocking up to where he is up there. So there's not so there's nothing to labor. This one right above our head. Just put a couple in. That was too much weight. Two is ideal. here and that'll show me where I make our temporary um, uh, blocking area and where we jack over there. Yeah. I wanted to show you guys this footing here. Um, I was gonna head out to get the breaking hammer and um, I was telling Harley, it's like, oh man, I was like, we forgot the chisel and hammer. Well, I went ahead and took the a four by six. I was able to just bump this, knock this off, and then I grab this, and um, that's our footing. I don't know if I'm going to need a, a hammer to get this broke loose. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see that. That's our footing and our, that's what's holding this girder up. So, nice. Oh, 
Oh no. Thing's blowing everything in my face. So. Okay, that's the time. So we got our uh, footing ledge right there. Um, the footing's gonna come out like so. We're into some really hard dirt right here. I don't know if it, um, I don't know if this has some uh, concrete residue that's mixed into the dirt. That's what it appears as though it's done. And it's almost basically a light, that concrete, it's really hard. We got the rebar down in there. We got our forms oiled. And we're ready to. We'll do the next one. Uh -huh. um, it's, uh,
Okay, so there it is. So he's screeding it off right now, trying to make it somewhat flatter. We got it formed up. Get them all oiled up so the concrete's not sticking to the forms. And our bricks are blocked. This is gonna go right here, or right here. Well, we'll, just have to, we'll just have to grind that high spot right there. And you've got a little high spot right here too. Right there, there, and there. That's easy to knock them off. Okay, we are done. Look good? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. That was a hard day of work right there. Now let's, let's get out of here.